Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Poco phone. To set it up, first click here. Um, after your device has been powered on, then find the language that you need. So I'm gonna search for English. It is here. Then click on next. Now choose your region, click on next, next. Now um, agree to the user agreement and click on next. Now you can set up your new device using your old device. So it will copy the settings accounts, data and more uh, apps and more. So I'm gonna skip that. And now it asks you to connect to a network. So I'm gonna, you can skip that, but I suggest you doing that because if you do it, then you can set it, set everything up at once. So I'm just, I'm just gonna select my network, enter its password, then click on connect, then click on next. Now it asks you to sign in to your Google account. If you don't want to, you can skip that. But if you skip it, then uh, you will not be able to use Google Apps and Google Play Store. So you'll not, you'll not be able to install new apps. Although you can set it up later in settings. So if you skip it now, then don't worry. You can set it up later. Also, if you don't have an account, you can click on create account to create it now but I do, so I'm gonna just log in. Then I'm gonna enter the password. Then uh, select whether you or your child will be using this device. If you, then just click here and click next. But if you select that your child will be using this device, then the further steps may be quite different than mine. So uh, you just need to follow the instructions on screen. So I'm gonna just click on next. Then you need to agree to the Google Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. And now it asks you if you want to copy apps and data from your old phone. So I'm gonna click on don't copy. Then uh, set a screen lock. You can skip that, but it's recommended to set one to make your phone more secure. So I'm gonna just set the screen lock. You can select a pattern, pin or password. I'm gonna select a pattern. Then click on got it. Now draw the unlock pattern that you want to set or the pin or password, anything. Then re-enter it to confirm. Click on confirm then. Now uh, you can review the Google services and allow or disallow some of them. Then click on accept. Now it asks you if you want to backup your photos and videos and other device data. So you can either click on turn on backup. You can also unselect one of those or just click on don't backup. Now, uh, I think it is only in the European Union that you can choose your browser and search engine. So if this shows, then click on next and select your browser. I will choose Google Chrome, then click on set as default. Now I'm going to select the search engine Google set as default. And now you can either continue setup or leave and get a reminder. So if you leave it now, it will be all, but I'm going to click on continue. And then it asks you if you want to enable nearby share. So I'm going to just agree to that. Then uh, continue. And you can turn on Hey Google uh, for Gemini. I'm going to click on No Thanks because you can also set it up later in settings. And here if you want to add your uh, payment card in order to pay with your phone using Google Pay. So I'm gonna skip that because you can also set it up later in the Google Wallet app. 
then it asks you also if you want to change anything else like add another email account change how text displays or anything else i think the settings are different each time uh, the recommendations now it asks you about some basic settings if you want to enable or disable location add or system updates send user and diagnostic data personalized ads user experience program and more so i'm gonna just accept all of that and click on next now if you are setting up your children's this is your children's device then you may want to turn on parental controls i'm gonna click on next without that and now change the font so you can set it to default or missions you can also like set it up later in settings then if you want to enable wallpaper carousel so whenever you unlock your device it will change the lock screen wallpaper i'm gonna skip that and now the default launcher to either classic so all apps will be on your home screen or app drawers so some apps will be on the home screen and all apps will be on your app drawer so after you slide up on your home screen um so i'm gonna select the app drawer and then click on next then it asks you if you want to install some recommended bloatware so i'm gonna unselect all of these then click on next and now if you want to have the full screen gestures navigation or buttons so if you have the buttons then you'll just have the back button home button and recent button and if you have the full screen gestures then to go to the home screen you need to slide up from the bottom of your screen to go back within apps slide uh, slide to the side from like slide left from the right side or slide right from the left side and to go to the recent you need to like swipe up and hold for a moment then it will open the recent i'm gonna show you that in a moment so i'm gonna select the full screen gestures then click on continue after setup is complete and you will land on the home screen and as i've promised i'll show you the gestures so while while you're in within an app to when you go into something for example to wi-fi to go back slide from the side from this or this side just like that and you'll go back and to go home swipe all the way up like maybe not all the way but just quickly slide up and to go to the recents uh, slide up and hold and it will open the recents and you can close them for example or go into these recent apps and your phone is set up that's all for today don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time